Hi, I'm Anna from AnnaGEFT.com. Welcome back. So today's tapping video is about how to stop sugar cravings. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to start with the, the side of the hand, the karate chop point. <sighs> Even though I constantly crave sugar and it's really discouraging at times <sighs> I choose to find a way to accept myself <sighs> even though I often feel guilty and ashamed Because I have no self-control. I choose to honor where I am. Even though a part of me doesn't feel that I actually want to have self-control. Because I want to eat the sugar. I choose to be willing to forgive myself and to love myself. And when I'm ready, I may forgive anyone involved. Maybe. But I don't have to. We're going to go up to the eyebrow and we're just going to go through the points. <sighs> So much guilt and shame over the sugar. I really, really want to eat the candy bar. Or you can say chocolate cake or cookie, whatever it is. I really, really want it. It's so tasty. It's so delicious. so sweet it's calling to me and I want it I can eat it if I want to nobody's stopping me I really really want it and I'm gonna eat it because it's my right I've had a stressful day. I've had a stressful week. I've had a stressful month. Life. I want to eat the cookie. I'm going to eat it. Can't believe you're telling me not to eat this cookie. What is wrong with you? frustrated because I really want to eat the cookie and I don't want to feel guilty about it and I can eat it I can indulge that's my choice but I feel so guilty all the time I mean, what's my mother going to think? You gained another 20 pounds again. She may not call me a fatty directly, but I'm sure she's thinking it. <sighs> All this guilt and this shame. There's a lot of that. Okay, so maybe I can eat this or not. Maybe I can let this urge to eat this cookie, this candy bar, this cupcake, this donut, this bowl of Ben and Jerry's. Maybe I don't have to eat it. Maybe I can just 
talk to myself a little bit. Maybe I can just do something that makes me happy. <sighs> something more than eating this makes me happy. What is it? Is this because I'm not happy that I eat? Or am I basically telling the person that told me, don't eat that, to shut up? Telling them where they can stick it. <sighs> it's a combination of the two. I feel it. And that's okay. I accept that part of me that is angry and bored and lonely. I accept that part of me that just wants some attention and wants to have something nice, like a cookie. And I forgive you. And now I get to be an adult. Maybe, if I want to be. Adulting is hard. I have a lot of responsibilities. But maybe it doesn't take a lifetime to love me or to sit with me. Maybe it doesn't take a whole month to feel good or to feel happy. What if I could feel good and happy without eating it? I don't know if I believe that because it's really good. But so is smiling, so is laughter, so is an apple. <sighs> I don't have to stop eating this. I never have to stop. I give myself permission to continue. <sighs> and at the same time, I'm open to healing this hurt, to healing this wound to hugging and loving this part of me that's just scared and angry. It's going to be okay. I've got you. It's going to be okay. So I choose to forgive myself and honor where I am. I'm opening up to letting go of this craving, this need, <laughs> to eat the sugar, I'm opening up to healthier alternatives because it's safe, because I'm safe. <sighs> letting go of my frustration and my anger, letting go of my fear, <sighs> letting go of my guilt. Whether I eat it or not, it's okay. I'm safe. Tapping into love and forgiveness on every level. I'm going to be okay. All is well. And I'm safe. As always, give this video a thumbs up. Like it, please. And if you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. I love my subscribers. And if you have not been over to my website, energyeft.com, head on over. You can sign up for the first part of tapping into your soulmate map for free. And you might be thinking, I'm not looking for a soulmate right now. It's not just about finding love in another person. It's also about finding love for yourself, which is you are your true soulmate. You are. So once you get that, once you love you and you honor you, the cravings, the behavior that you're not happy about, it fades away. So keep tapping, keep loving yourself, keep energizing. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.